Hey everyone, in this video, we'll dive into the power of automated emails and how they can help you express your gratitude towards your valued customers. So guys, showing gratitude and appreciation to your customers is really important to build a strong relationship with them and improve your retention. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up an automation to send automated thank you emails on receiving payments from your customers. So if you're using Stripe, this video is for you. Here you can integrate Stripe with a email service provider like Gmail in an automation workflow and you do not have to send the emails manually. So if you have, if you have 100 or even 1000 of customers, you can save a ton of your time and manual hazel with the help of this automation and you can set up it without any coding very easily. So let's begin. To set up our automation, we are using Pavli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And this is the landing page of Pavli Connect. And you can find the link of this page in the description as well. From here, you can sign up for free and you will get free automation tasks every month. So sign up right now. And after that, sign in and select Pavli Connect product and you will reach the dashboard. And from here, click on this create workflow button. Here you can give a suitable name to your workflow and then click on create button. So I have given the name here like this. Now I'm clicking on create button and you can see the workflow page is loading up here. And on this page, you will find these two modules, which are the basic building blocks of our automation, the trigger and the action. So trigger is that event which starts the workflow and the action is the automated consequence or the response of the trigger. In our use case, guys, receiving a payment via Stripe is going to trigger the workflow. Okay, and the action would be to send a thank you email to that customer. So here in the trigger, it will ask to choose your trigger application. In our case, Stripe is our trigger application. So search for Stripe here. Okay, here it is selected. Then you have to select the trigger event on which we want to run this workflow. So the trigger event would be new charge. So it is going to trigger when someone's credit card is charged. Okay, select it. And it will provide you this webhook URL. With the help of this, we can create a connection with Stripe. And after that, we can capture the response of the connection. So you can read the instructions written here to create this connection. Let me show you directly. This is my Stripe application, guys. Okay. And I'm under the test mode. Here, guys, uh, you can see we have this developers option available. Click on it. And under developers, you will find this webhooks tab. Click on webhooks. Here you can add a webhook endpoint to create a connection. So just click on this add endpoint button. Here it will ask for the endpoint URL where you want to send the data. So this is the URL on which we want to receive the data. So click on copy here and paste the webhook URL here. Sorry, not here, here in this endpoint URL field. And you can provide a description to this webhook connection if you want. Okay. And here it is asking, listen to events on your account or connected account. So I want to listen. That means to trigger the workflow on my accounts event. Okay. And then you have to select the event as well on which you want to trigger the workflow. Okay. Or send the data. So that event would be capturing a payment. So here you can read in the instructions. You need to select charge dot succeeded as the event. Okay. So. Here you can see we have this select event tab, click on it. Here you will find all these options. Here you will find the charge section as well. Open it. And here you have to check this charge dot succeeded box. Check this box. Then click on add events. Okay. Right. And then click on add endpoint. And a new endpoint will be created like this. Okay. So here you can see it is showing waiting for events and here it is showing waiting for the Webux response. This means when this charge dot succeeded event is going to happen in Stripe, the data will be captured here in the response. Okay. So guys, I have uh, so many payment links created for different products or services. And this is a payment link I have created. Let me just show you. So uh, this is a payment link I have created for a cell phone. Okay. And we are under test mode, you can see. So here guys, I'm going to manually create a test payment. Okay. 
to set up the automation. Okay, this is not an original payment. So let me just fill in some uh, test details or demo details here for any test customer. And here I'm adding the test card details. This is not an original card. And here, let me just add a sample address as well. Okay, right. So we have filled in all the informations. Okay, and here I'm going to click on pay button and the test payment will be uh, successful in a few moments. You can see it's processing. All right, so it started showing thank you for your payment. Okay, let's see in our workflow if we got the data and here the data is already received. You can see the type is char.succeeded. The event is this and here you can see status is succeeded. And now when you scroll down, you will see the card details. All right, here you can see uh, these are the card details. The name of the customer is also received. The address and the email is also received. Okay. And the amount also got captured. But here you can see the amount has two extra zeros present here. I have uh, done the payment of 10,000 INR, Indian national rupees. And here we have two zeros after this decimal point. So it doesn't, it didn't capture the decimal point here and it's showing the two extra zeros. So we are going to uh, amend this value, the amount value. I'm going to amend this using a feature of Fably Connect, which is called number formatter. So in the section step, before sending an email, let's do this. Just uh, select number formatter option here in the action event, in the action uh, application and the action event would be perform math operation. Okay, then click on connect button. And now you can perform mathematical operations by providing on these numbers that you can provide here in this field. So guys, first number is this one, the amount number. Okay, so I'm going to map this amount label here in the field. So to map the label, you just have to click here and the previous step will appear in the drop down. And when you click on it, you can find the data right here. And from here, you can just search for the amount label and map it. Okay. And another number I'm going to put here is going to be 100 after a comma. You can see in the example, you have to provide comma separated values. So let me just put a comma and provide 100 manually. Okay, so the things that you map here are updated every time the workflow executes. The things that you put manually will remain the same. So every time the workflow is going to trigger, this means uh, you are going to receive a new payment it will be automatically changed here and it will be divided by 100 if it's needed okay because we are all we are going to get two extra zeros every time so it is necessary here now select the operation as divide okay then click on save and send test request button all right now here you can see we got the corrected amount in the result label okay now guys uh, we can send a thank you email for that to happen automatically click here on this plus icon and from the section step connect with gmail okay so here i have selected gmail and the action event would be send email click on connect button from here you choose add new connection option then click on connect with gmail and from this window i'm going to choose that gmail account by which i want to send those emails okay so select the relevant account then you have to provide some additional access to your Google account. Just click on continue from here and in a spur of a moment will be connected. You can see we are connected now and here it is asking for the recipient's email address. So a recipient will be our customer. So we have received the data of the customer here in the trigger step. This is the email of the customer. So I'm going to map this email label here in this field. So let's click here from the first step, map the email label okay so when you scroll down here you will find it so leave cc or bcc blank we are not we don't want to uh, put anyone here email subject so you can provide a relevant subject so i'm giving the subject here as thank you for your payment okay or you can put the subject as payment received as well okay 
here uh, select the content type i'm selecting plain content type and here you can type the email that you want to send to your customer so let me type a standard email here so guys i have typed this email you can see hello thank you for your purchase i just wanted to let you know that we have received the payment of inr dash for your order it will be processed and if there is anything you need help feel free to contact us and this is a simple email i have written you can customize your emails according to your need and here after hello i want to address the person to whom we are sending the email so i'm going to map the name of the person here after hello so you just have to put your cursor here and the previous steps will appear so from the trigger step you can see the name of the customers in the card details section here you can see so just map the name label okay like this and here i am going to provide the amount received also after inr and i am going to provide the amount from the second step where we have corrected the amount so map the amount for, uh, from the second step okay so these are the two things i want to map you if you want to map some other things you can feel free and map it and this is the map data is going to be updated so every time you are going to receive new payments new data will be placed in the email and it will be sent now guys let me show you how the email is going to look like in real time i'm just going to put my email address here in this recipient fields to show you the demo and after that i'm going to click on save and send test request to check if if it's working if the email is going to deliver okay so guys let's suppose this is the e uh, email inbox of, of my customer okay now let's check the connection i am clicking on save and send test request button here all right so this is the response we got and here we have received a new email in the inbox as well like we have received this email and here you can see the subject thank you for a payment and you can see the mail hello thank you for your purchase just wanted to let you know that we have received the payment of inr 10000 it will be processed and it will be updated if it's shipped and you, this is the same email guys that i have written here you can see and in place of the uh, labels the data is placed here correctly okay so this is how it is going to work guys so we are done setting up it, this automation and you have to set up it only once after that it will work automatically whenever you are going to receive a payment and i'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description so that you can clone this workflow in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel